today is a very rare day guys and that is because we got wrestling code news and this is something that doesn't come around very often i know a lot of people and myself included were questioning what is going on why are we just getting this wrestler has signed with this and that and the other like we don't want to you know see that anymore we actually want to see gameplay we know that you guys have a huge roster to offer but today was finally the day that we saw gameplay and i'm super excited let's go on ahead and get into it y'all because this is something that i definitely wanted to speak on super happy about this we see chris danger is the guy that they decided to go on ahead and showcase this stuff with which actually makes me super happy to see chris danger is a legend in the wwe 2k community and it is pretty dope to see him here i love the way that they captured him it was a very good capture in my opinion with i'm sure that the budget that they have obviously their budget isn't going to be like 2k or something like that and i'm just going to go on ahead in a limb and compare a lot of what we see here with aew fight forever because if you look at it aew fight forever is probably one of the competitors to this game in the market right now we consider that the wwe 2k competitor but it is missing a lot of details the first thing i notice when i get in here is the crowd i see the crowd reacting i see a full crowd in a full arena when you go on aew fight forever it's just like the first couple rows are filled and then it's just dark around the arena kind of how it is in real life just playing but here on my end you guys see just chris danger walk in and just the arena looks dope i think that this is a cool you know concept i like the fact that there is people full in these arenas and it is something that you know that i wasn't expecting personally to see this many people in the arena so i'm glad that they do have this obviously the they, they can react a little bit better but i am happy that there is some sort of crowd because that plays such a big part in wrestling especially seeing it in a wrestling game the entrance motion looks quite amazing i don't know if you guys have watched uh chris danger in dpw but i do think that it does look uh really really good and i think that this is something that we should be looking forward to i like the fact that his entrance is just up to par it's up to t and like I, again this is something that i'm glad that they decided to showcase with somebody who's part of the community this is going to help him get more views this is going just a, a nice old marketing uh strategy you know so i think that this does help one thing that i notice here guys is the way the ropes bounce which i like and the stage with the rustling coat at the top i like the fact that the ropes bounce here it looks good it looks natural but the one thing i notice is you guys see commentators back there aew fight forever there are no commentators so i have to mention how big of a deal this is to me personally the fact that we have some commentators in this game because commentating and 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 it's just such a huge part of wrestling as well i like that they're focusing on all that stuff you see a ring bell back there you see a wooden table i don't know if we're going to be able to use that odds are we probably are but i am so so happy that that the wrestling code has provided us with something like this i love the fact that there are commentators back there i saw two tables back there so they have four commentators and it would be dope if they had like a Spanish and English feature. I know I'm going crazy with that now. But even, you know, just the fact that we get just some normal commentary, I think that is such a big one for this game. And just detail wise, it's huge. A lot of these wrestling games do not offer commentary. And if this does, what a win by the wrestling code in virtual basement for sure. So we're getting our first look at Ken Shamrock here and Chris Danger hitting him with his move. And you guys see the selling. Very, very good selling. I'm actually happy about the selling in this game. I think that the selling is huge. This is our first look at Matt Cardona. You guys see him there laying on the ground. Chris Danger is begging for him to get up. I love the way they get up. The selling in this game is just so, so amazing. I can't say much better things about it. And a nice super kick just looks dope. Now, when it comes to gameplay, I do understand that this is an out alpha a demo or alpha footage now the only issue i have with this is is that it is like in slow-mo it looks a little clunky this game has been in development for uh, over four years so you expect to see a little bit more and that's no knock on them because i am really really excited for this game but just my two cents with that looks a little slow and clunky maybe with just some you know updated gameplay and stuff like that that is something that can be fixed uh and revisited but again the selling in this game looks really dope i like the way matt cardona got up and it looked and here you guys see uh chris danger throw a chair to ddp super kick him that is super dope as well like if they have different weapon animations for us to go on ahead and use and, and do with different wrestlers that is great and kurt angle we're getting our first look at kurt angle he's looking hella skinny but uh we'd love to see it man chris danger gonna hit him with a nice move 
And uh, we don't see too much selling there. We just see him kind of knocked out. And then Rob Van Dam, that is our first look. So just because we're talking about Rob Van Dam, Kurt Angle, I cannot mention to you guys enough how big of a deal this all is uh, with the wrestling code. This roster is just, it's an opportunity that a lot of wrestling games do not get. You have so many wrestlers in here that we're all interested in with playing with them. And it just puts the pressure on the team because I don't think they're allowed to miss. I just don't. You cannot miss with a wrestling game with this roster. You just can't. You have to work this game out to the best of its potential because it's really hard to really sit here and justify the fact that they have this roster and then the game not be good gameplay wise. That's why I'm personally a little bit worried because you have all of these wrestlers that we wish that we had in one game, but right now we're kind of just waiting on that. You know, so I think that if we can get this game to be that game, you know, it could just be a huge deal. But you guys see Rob Van Dam here, and this is like a, a sunset powerbomb, I believe it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but look at the selling. It just looks amazing. You know, like Wrestling Code, they've definitely been working. They've definitely been grinding, and, and you'd like to see it. Like, that sell right there was, like, insane. That's like an Austin Theory-type sell. Like, who they got selling right now? Austin Theory, uh, Dolph Ziggler in there, and, like, this really, really impressed me because there are different just selling animations. You guys see here, like... He is like, you see that? Like he's just like stumbling and giving us like the, the big man uh, selling animations. That is super dope, bro. Like I love the detail so far in this game. And it's just something that for me, I'm more excited about this game right now after seeing this. And I hate the fact that there's no time frame when this game is going to drop. But I'm just so excited for it because it feels like it's going to target an audience like mine. You know, we got Ultra Pro Wrestling coming out and I feel like that's targeting the older people, the people that played the Aki games. I didn't get to play those games, so I don't have that excitement for it. Will I cover it when it comes out? Yes. Will I play it? Probably. Yes. I mean, I will be playing a lot of these games, but this game right here, it just has me simply because it's like the selling. Like, just look at the way that big man sells, bro. The big man selling is just super dope the way the crowd is reacting to it as well like it just looks dope man it just does and like you guys see like the shake the shaking on the screen just gives you that feel too on a wrestling game personally i love it i can't complain about this the only thing i gotta say is that it's a little clunky it looks a little slow but i do understand that this is alpha footage i'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have in store because this is a nice little piece of footage to show at this point we want to see more it's been over four years in development i do understand covid probably hindered some of that development time but super excited for this just hope that it doesn't take another four years hopefully maybe a year or two till we can finally get this game in our hands super hyped for it though i hope you guys did enjoy this video let me know down below how you guys feel about the wrestling code are you guys excited what wrestling game are you most excited for right now that's coming out soon we have the wrestling code we have upw 2k25 i mean we can go on and on super excited to see how this works out though i hope you guys did enjoy this video i'm gonna catch y'all peace